Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Comfort Print Story, a new book from 2K Denmark who's one of the leading Bible designers in the world. Okay, I'm excited about this one today. This is a new book from 2K Denmark called The Comfort Print Story. You may have heard me talk about the Comfort Print typefaces on my channel. Anytime I review a Bible by Thomas Nelson, Zondervan, they're, they're under the banner of HarperCollins Christian Publishers. And a few years ago, they worked with 2K Denmark, which is a, a design firm in Denmark, obviously, that does type settings. When I say type settings, it's actually the page layout of the Bible, as well as typefaces, the font families that are used in the Bibles. And so for the Comfort Print series, for the Comfort Print project, they created a new typeface with lots of different weights for each translation of the Bible. So there's a KJV Comfort Print, an NIV Comfort Print, all of the different translations that are produced by HarperCollins Christian Publishers. There's a Comfort Print typeface for each one. And this book basically, they've done some cool videos. I'll put the links to the videos they've done about this so you can watch those. But this is basically a book that kind of brings the whole project together talks about the inspiration, does a deep dive into each typeface. If you are interested in Bible design, type settings, design in general, this is a really cool book. And y'all, it's absolutely beautiful. It makes sense that a design company would do a beautiful coffee table style book, but like the way that this is printed, the photography that's in here is beautiful. There's actually a photo that I took in here. I was not expecting that. As I flipped through it, I saw my tattooed arms holding an NKJV Bible and I'm like, hey, that's one of my photos. So actually Becca probably took that one because both of my hands are in the photos, but it kind of tells the story really, really beautifully designed. And so I'm, I'm really excited that they have this, that you can purchase this. I'll put a link to where you can buy it. Um, they'll send it right to you from Denmark. And also that they sent one to me so I could take a look at it and I could share it with you because it's really, really cool. It's just a unique little piece of, of Bible, I don't know, a Bible additional thing to add to your library or your office, something cool to flip through and to learn about the different typefaces. They've done a great job. So we're going to do an overhead. I'm going to show you this, but before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is the Comfort Print Story from 2K Denmark. Okay, really beautiful, glossy book here. The Comfort Print Story, Designing Bible Typefaces. Seven Bible typeface families created by 2K Denmark for HarperCollins. Christian Publishing. Again, HarperCollins Christian Publishing represents both um, Thomas Nelson, Zondervan, also the Catholic Bible publishers that are part of that family of brands. Really, really beautiful, nice glossy. I'm going to open this up so you can see it. There's Klausa right there, the guy who started 2K Denmark. He and I have had some nice chats online. Really, really nice guy. A note from him, and then we open this up. It's the Comfort Print Story. So, Really cool contents. It shows you all of the different um, translations that they have typefaces for. Here's the acknowledgments for the 2K, 2K team and the HarperCollins team, all the different folks, a lot of different names you may have seen me mention on the channel before. Really, really cool. There's a preface here that kind of talks about Bible translations and Bible publishing, kind of getting you into the history of everything. This was written by uh, John Cramp over at HarperCollins. And then we get right into the first typeface. So the King James Version typeface. So what I like about this is, A, it's just beautiful. This book looks fantastic. They give you a, an intro in every chapter about the translation itself, which is really cool. The, then they talk about the inspiration for the typeface and how they worked on it. Very, very interesting here because there's a lot of thought, a lot of thoughtfulness that went into developing each one of these typefaces. They looked at some old Bibles. They looked at um, different things on, on the on the public underground here in, in the subway system to come up with typefaces. And then they start talking about the actual development of the typeface itself. And they give you these pages here. So this is 1 Samuel 16, 1 in the King James Comfort Print. But if you zoom in there, look at all of that text in there. Just very, very beautifully designed. And you're getting the different, um, the different typefaces, the different fonts that are included in each typeface family. So you have the slightly thicker ones, you have the thinner ones, you have the um, italicized versions of them. So very, very cool. So then you get in here and they show you. So here's the KJV serif regular and the KJV serif italic 
this is the KJV Sans regular, so Sans is going to have none of those. I don't even know. I'm, I'm not a great typeface expert here, but you can see how on the end over here, it has those little edges on the side of it, whereas this one is cleaner. That's a Sans serif, and that's a serif font. So KJV Sans regular, KJV Sans italic. So it's kind of showing you just the letters in here. And you go to the semi bold of each. So you have regular, you have semi bold, and then they give you some pages from one of the Bibles, which is really cool to just kind of see. This is a two column format with the drop caps. Really, really beautiful. This is a compact reference general purpose Bible. This looks to me like, um, what, what Bible would that be? Would that be the, the Sovereign, the KJV Sovereign? I think it might be the Sovereign. So they give you a few pages in here. Really, really beautiful. Here's another design that's single column, different sort of look and feel. Okay, now we get into the, N so then it starts over for every typeface. You get into the NKJV. They talk about the translation of the NKJV. Hey, look at there. Look at those tattoos. I can show you those right there. There's, there's, there's that tattoo right there holding that Bible. What's funny about this is I did not know, they don't actually have my name in here. Uh, this Bible is on a website called Unsplash. It's a stock photography website that I upload a lot of my my photos too, so I'm sure they got it from there, but the, the original background of this was like my carpet. <laughs> so um, they took that out and they changed it, which is great, but it's really cool to see this photo in one of my favorite Bibles, the NKJV single column reference Bible. So yeah, there's my hands in this really cool book, which I think is really neat. So, um, and then they talk about like this one, they wanted to keep similarities between the NKJV and the KJV because they're very, very related in a lot of ways. And then you get some of the similar stuff. So each one, of the translations, you're gonna get one of these pages where they do a verse with some of the different typesetting. Very cool design with that small font behind it. And then they walk you through all of the different weights and the styles of the font. And then they give you pictures from some of the different Bibles that have been produced. Really cool to just see all this. So again, a really cool coffee table book. Something interesting to show your friends. Same thing with the NASB that they did here. So the NASB typeface. Very, very cool, slightly different. All, all of these typefaces are designed, and that's what this book is telling you about, is it's designed to be comfortable, make a comfortable reading experience uh, for the Bible, which I think is really neat. The NIV, NIV one is like slightly funkier. It's a slightly different typeface. It's got some, some, and they talk about this in here, like the different little movements that they did with the typeface and the decisions they made along that process. I love the NET translation. Not a lot of people read that Bible. Not as many people read that Bible, but I think it's a really strong typeface. So lots of different ones in here. I'm not going to show you every single page of this book, but it basically just marches through each one, um, and it kind of gives you a look and a feel for what each typeface does. This is that really cool, I love this Bible, the NET Full Notes Edition where the text is right here, and then all of the translator notes are around it. Such a unique Bible design, like first page of Leviticus has, what, three verses and then all these notes. Really cool way to study the Bible. Um, and then the, the HarperCollins Catholic typeface for their Catholic Bible Press, that's the imprint for HarperCollins. So another typeface for that. Really, really cool to just see all of this in this beautiful design. You get an index here at the back and then a short little epilogue. So if you're a Bible fan and if you, you like typefaces and the design of this, Definitely something interesting to read, to learn about how they did it, but then also like a cool little, hey, who's that guy? Also a cool a cool piece to have in your Bible library to kind of just share with your friends and talk about uh, the Comfort Print story. So there you have it, the Comfort Print story by 2K Denmark. That's pretty cool, right? If you'd like to pick a copy of this up, I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video. You can order one, they'll send it to you from Denmark, which is really cool. So you can add this to your library. I'm also going to put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community on social media, and we would love for you to be a part of it. Before we go, once again, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got links down below to other comfort print Bibles if you want to watch some other videos that I have here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.